All right, the first thing we need to do before we start using Autodesk Inventor is set up our correct units. When you open up the software, in this case version 2018, you represent it with a window similar to this one here. What we're looking for is up in the new panel, we should find a little gear icon where we can configure the default templates. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and we're going to make sure it's in millimeters. Depending on how it was installed, it will either be set to inches or millimeters. We need to make sure it's on millimeters so that when we enter 20 millimeters or other metric dimensions, it goes in correctly and not in inches. And we get the part that we're expecting to get. So make sure millimeters is selected. Go ahead and click OK. It'll ask us if we want to overwrite the original template, so we go ahead and click overwrite. And that is now set. We go back in, we can double check. It's on millimeters. We can't click OK because it's already set. And just go ahead and hit cancel. We only need to go through that process the first time we set up Inventor, or if we get another laptop, like a loan laptop, if our laptop's in. But we want to make sure it's always in millimeters so that everything we create is the exact size we're expecting it to be.